Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learburn. And this is another one of the Q&As that we got out of the Ask Cindy portal on the front of Learburg.com. I do want to say that you do not have to be a customer of Learburg. And we post these Q&As. We've started to post these Q&As, three of them a week. We try and pick really good questions that we see a lot. And this happens to be, in my opinion, a pretty good question, which is why we why I chose it. I'll read it first and then we'll talk about it. <clears throat> it says, hi Cindy, I have a one-year-old Belgian Malinois. He has a history of aggression, specifically biting and has bitten me, my wife, and the trainer. I guess that's a good history. I had him evaluated by a trainer that's familiar with working Belgian Malinois and other shepherd breeds. To address the biting, they recommended, number one, plenty of exercise. Uh, he gets exercise two hours a day and two obedience training sessions a day. He attended in, inboard basic obedience training for five weeks and advanced obedience training for four weeks. Ever since he completed basic obedience training, his biting behavior has stopped. So giving him this history, should I still have him neutered? He has two trainers and both recommend neutering. Both were concerned as he gets older, but still a pup, the testosterone will kick in and he may do something stupid. I have reservations about neutering, giving Dr. Beck's video and what Ed Frawley's written opinions on neutering on the website. What are your thoughts? What do you recommend? It's a good question. A lot of people think that neutering a dog is going to solve aggression problems. I don't think it's a good idea. If you want to neuter a dog, wait until a male dog is around two years old. Let the testosterone let the dog develop with the testosterone. There's nothing wrong with that. I think if you neuter a dog too young, you're gonna have a problem in later life with that. Now, the caveat here is that people that don't neuter dogs until when they get to be in the 10-year-old, 11-year-old area, they can develop cancer as a result of that. So there's nothing wrong and, and I'm talking from experience with older police service dogs. And there's nothing long, wrong with neutering an eight or a nine year old uh, police service dog. It just, in my opinion, makes them a little healthier. But to do it at an earlier age is, is not a good idea. And a lot of times when you neuter females, female too early, that causes the female to be more aggressive, not less aggressive. They've done studies on this in England, and they've proven it, and I'm, <laughs> I agree with it. So it's just not necessary. Uh, now, there are some exceptions to the rule, and there are no rules in dog training. If someone has females in their home, and they have a young male, and the young male becomes a problem because he doesn't let the females alone, that could be a good reason to have the dog neutered. If you have a, a male that's a year, year and a half old, and he's doing like humping cushions and people and just unwanted sexual activity, then I would say probably give some thought to neutering that dog. So this customer came back and said, thanks Cindy, this is helpful. I really don't want to neuter him yet because the potential health consequences and the possibility it might shorten his life. I'm not sure that I could say that neutering is gonna shorten a dog's life. I think that they need testosterone to mature. I think if it becomes a problem over the things that we've talked about, 
then you need to consider neutering. But to blatantly take a young dog out at six months of age and getting, getting that dog neutered, it's a bad idea. And you see a lot of rescue operations that'll go ahead and neuter puppies even younger than six months of age. I understand that they want to have rescue dogs neutered. I don't understand that they would have to have them neutered at that age. I think there can be contracts written that they have to follow, that they have to get neutered and they have to bring proof of getting neutered into the rescue organization. So this is more of a health question. As I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need to be a Learbird customer to ask a question on dog training, to ask a question on health, to ask a question on breeding. Uh, we do require people to tie their question in the Ask Cindy portal on the front of Learbird.com to their email address. And the reason for that is so many people will ask a question that's too generic. It doesn't have enough details in it. And Cindy has to write them back and say, hey, you need to be a little more specific here. What about this, this, and this? What have you been doing here, here, and here? And then they all answer. They really do. They all answer. Give her more information, and she can be more specific in her answers. And then if that customer comes back uh, two weeks later, six months later, a year later, we can pull up the previous questions and our advice and be more educated on what we would now recommend that they consider.